people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to FNAF News? <laughs> Blocks Talks? We got a strange situation on our hands because we got an official multiplayer FNAF game on Roblox leaked the other day. It released months and months early to the public. We saw a lot of players playing it, including a few big YouTubers like Doco Fusion and myself. And of course, because the game launched so many months before it was supposed to be seen by the public, there was a lot of outcry and negative criticism from the community, which led to the entire game being deleted in two hours. Does that sound like a fun journey? A fun topic to talk about? Good, because that's what we're talking about today. If you're excited for FNAF multiplayer in Roblox, I guess, make sure to scroll down, tickle that subscribe button. And now let's rewind. Let's go back to the start of all this drama. Only a couple days ago, we saw the release of an absolutely fantastic, amazing, breathtaking video game. A game that fans have been waiting so, so long for, and when it finally released, everyone was so pumped. I'm of course talking about Garten of Ban Ban 6. Because there I was on launch day streaming the brand new release with the hottest dog, who's a fellow FNAF YouTuber, over on his channel. And I promise this has to do with the topic at hand. And as we're playing through the game, we just got to like the first puzzle basically, I get a notification on my phone. Here. Wait. Wait. Dude. What? Sorry. Crazy FNAF news. Oh, what? Really? There's an official FNAF Roblox game out. What the f are we doing playing Ban Ban 6? Wait, what? This was legit, my live reaction to finding out about this title. And just for a bit of backstory, this was the page that we saw, Five Nights at Freddy's Survival Crew on Roblox. The page was created back in May, and as we can tell from the banner up here, the game is in beta. But most interestingly of all was this copyright and trademark of Scott Cawthon and his company. Now immediately, everyone's first thought was, why the heck would we get a FNAF game on Roblox? I mean, can't anyone just type copyright Scott Cawthon and let it go public. But either way, we absolutely had to check this game out. So Hottest Dog and I stopped streaming Garden of Ban Ban. We hopped on Roblox. I think as we were booting it up, we got the announcement that this was in fact official. Look at the Sigmas you've become. Look at- bro. No! Let me hide in the ball pit into the pit. I smack you across the face. <laughs> this game is so bad, bro. This is not official. This ain't official. It is official! What? Striker Entertainment just put out an ad for it. Oh my God. Striker Entertainment, the licensing company for the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. They dish out the license for FNAF so other companies can do as they please with it. Over on their Instagram stories, they reposted a link to the Roblox page confirming that the title was in fact an official FNAF spinoff game on Roblox. So now with this newfound knowledge that what we are about to play is an officially licensed Scott approved FNAF product, we of course hop into the game. And like I said, I did stream for almost two hours, you can see, with the hottest dog and also Eat Ready, another FNAF animator joined in. So if you'd like to see straight gameplay of the game, that's gonna be linked down below. But basically the game boiled down to Dead by Daylight, but on a massive, massive severe budget cut. You gotta go around and collect these batteries across the map. You've also got abilities down here. Then you gotta find these panels and charge them up exactly like what you got to do with the generators in Dead by Daylight. All the while, you're being hunted by Freddy frickin' Fazbear, who you can see is right there. You can see he's even going Super Saiyan because someone shot him with a stun gun, and apparently that's what Freddy does when you shoot him with a stun gun. Now, when you complete the game, this is the animation you get. All the generators blow up, they've been fully charged, they send out an electric beam to Freddy, and he gets his Fazballs tased, and he falls to the ground in a very strange animation. You can also play as Freddy, as you can see, I've captured Adventure Bonnie here, isn't Roblox just the best? And once you defeat one of the survivors, you gotta trap them in a spring lock suit. Exactly like Dead by Daylight, putting them up on the chain. Now, something you might be able to notice is that the models in this game are very, very strange. For example, this is the title screen. You can see the Freddy model, doesn't really look like an official Freddy model. There's a frickin' Freddy Fazbear battle pass, as well as an item shop, and also you can customize your animatronic. And of course, to do that, you have to buy them with Robux. So already some microtransactions at play. But look, they've got all the FNAF AR skins, like Aeronaut Toy Freddy and Frost. Oh, look, we gotta buy them with Robux again. Doesn't help the fact that there were stolen assets and fan models used in this game. So if having an official FNAF crossover game being released just out of the blue, shadow drop to the public, if that wasn't strange enough, the contents of the game were just equally, if not even more questionable, which led to a lot of fans being extremely, quite frankly, disgusted with the product that they were even playing. Which is why about two hours after the servers went public, we saw this. 
All right, Faz fan. Oh. Oh, oh, the servers are down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bad news, guys. I think the game just got yeeted out. Too many people hopping on peak FNAF gaming. Oh, I can't even. I can't even the reconnect. The experience said. The experience said as private. It got said as private. <gasps> oh. Oh. got no. kicked out of the game. No. You can't even join no. anymore. No. No. Oh, what the heck? I wasn't joking, I'm having fun. The servers for the game officially going private and the developers releasing this statement in their Discord server for the game. Thank you all for your feedback and for playing the game. We really value the feedback from the community. We'll be taking it down for a few weeks to play for our next beta test and come back better for round two. All purchase items will be available at that time again, more to come soon. Honestly though, I should say as janky as the game was, as weird as the models and stolen assets were because Trust me, that's bad. And as much as it was just a carbon copy of the gameplay from Dead by Daylight, I was admittedly kind of having a bit of fun. I mean, like I showed you, we streamed for almost two hours. I just kept re-queuing just because, one, the rounds go by pretty quick, and two, it's a very simple gameplay format. You know, Dead by Daylight kind of nailed it. Plus, it was an open beta. Of course the game's gonna be janky. Of course we're gonna run into some bugs every now and then. For a few times, the hottest dog and I just constantly got stuck in the floor and couldn't move. But for a lot of people, they just would not let this slide, which, absolutely fair. I don't blame them. A lot of people over on Twitter started questioning the quality control that Scott had over the FNAF IP and really demanded an official statement from Scott and of course with such backlash and such a strange situation happening Scott did end up replying on reddit about the situation he writes hey everyone I wish I could visit on better terms more often what a screwed up day bear with me yes there is an official Roblox game being worked on I'm actually quite a big Roblox fan and play it a lot with my kids but the fact that this game was released today is one of the most baffling insane things to ever happen in my 10 years of of working on FNAF. This game is in its infancy. Temporary assets, temporary gameplay, unfinished everything. The fact that it got dropped today suddenly on the public just blows my mind. Apparently there was a huge misunderstanding when I approved a skin and it was interpreted as release the entire game. I obviously took the game down immediately so despite how difficult it might be to overlook this, well no I don't think this can be overlooked, it was a huge blunder. I will fix this in 2024. Again I hope everyone can at least believe me when I I say that this game is in its testing phases and is in no way ready to be released to the public. I myself have never even played it yet. So again, catastrophic misunderstanding and I apologize, I will fix this. And all of a sudden, this makes a whole lot of sense. I mean, that explains all the weird models, all the stolen assets and strange art used. Why the gameplay is just one for one ripped from Dead by Daylight. Everything in this game was not supposed to be final in the slightest. Scott himself hasn't even played the game to approve it. But there were also a lot of people who started questioning the developers working on the title. Because while Scott said this was a huge misunderstanding, I only approved a skin, not, you know, approving to release the entire game, the statement from the devs seemed like this was supposed to happen. Like this was the first, you know, open beta. Everyone join the game, see if you like it, give us feedback. And if there's that big of a communication gap between Skin looks good, you know, nice job on the skin, to hey, release this title to the 18,000 people that played it. It's not surprising when a lot of FNAF fans started to question the capability of the dev team behind this project. I mean, that is a massive, massive blunder. As you saw from Scott's comment, the game is still going forward with development. It seems like they're gonna wanna launch it next year in 2024. I do wish them the best going forward with development on the title. I honestly would like to see it release. Though, of course, I expect a lot of changes going forward. Of course, I'm sure Sure, everything's gonna be remodeled, whole new UI, hopefully whole new gameplay. And of course, I've seen a lot of people complain that this kind of negates FNAF characters from appearing in other games like Dead by Daylight that share again the exact same gameplay i mean that has been like the most wanted fnaf collab of all time and so the fact that we're getting a game that is basically just dead by daylight seems a little fishy for some fans again i'd love to know your thoughts that is the situation with fnaf survival crew the official multiplayer fnaf game on roblox once again seems like it's going to release sometime next year so i'm very curious to see how that turns out thank you all so much for watching this video and i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye